when having switch for all of your units yeah it is great you know what i mean so as you can see here i have so many different switches here i have some volumes here also see viewers and my subscribers welcome back to eversleep media it's all about at this time i'm making a switchboard when i say a switchboard i mean every one of my amplifiers have their own switch you know what i mean crossover as it have his own switch the fan have his own switch the lighting have his own switch it is a switchboard stick and stay family you will see what's coming next all right so yes my people hope all is well everybody all right yeah back in the days I did have a switchboard, this switchboard here, as you can see, me paint it up nice and thing, yeah, this was a switchboard, it have been some light, blinkers light inside here, same way, but I'm not going to use this anymore, I'm going to create a new one, as you can see the piece of metal, it is the same one, this here, I'll, I'll find this long piece of metal somewhere, I don't remember, but I know that it, it, it have used, so I put it aside, you know, as you can see, it is slim just like a crossover or an equalizer yeah so it is fit nice to fit into the rack just cut it 19 inch long yeah so as you can see as you can see yes so it is a switchboard this switchboard is gonna have on eight switch eight switches as you can see i have four big switch here these are 12 volt yeah when you put the 12 volt um, to it when you turn it on the light is on this is light all right so it i'm gonna name all the switches you know what i mean bass mid on tweeter crossover light fan i'm gonna name all of them so i put in um few extras extra switch because you know you might have something in the long run you want to switch off and on on the sound system my sound system is a mobile you know what i mean yeah so i have car powers with remote 12 volt remote you know what i mean so these four switch here as you can see 20 amp 12 volt half and on yes this is gonna control i have four amplifier on the board this is gonna control all four amplifiers but each amplifier is gonna have a volume control to control the input left and right that go inside of the amplifiers you know what i mean so once i turn on tweeter i can turn it up or i can turn it down i have control so this is one this is one this is one this is one yes and don't don't worry about if i know what i'm doing this is what i do you know what i mean yeah this is my job this is this is what i sleep and eat and drink electronics yeah, I can make my own amplifier, my own crossover, my own mixer, my own everything. I can make them. Lick shot, anything at all you want on your sound system. You know what I mean? I can make it. So when you hear me say I'm making a switchboard and I'm going to have volume control for each amplifier, yes. Reason why I'm doing this, I want the signal from the drive rock to come through here, each one here. So the tweeter line is going to go to tweeter switch tweeter volume so once i turn on the tweeter amp i can turn up the volume and down yes because before reaching the drive rock i need an expander gate there the expander gate is going to cut all noise yes all noise is going to cut from the sound you never hear some sound i play and you hear mm, and you hear the fan around in the background no before reaching the drive rack there is gonna be an expander gate so that is the reason why i have this control here you know what i mean i have a limiter also the drive rack itself have been a limiter also where you can turn up the sound any more louder is only you can do that so yes my viewers stick and stay as you can see i have a piece of here yeah and trust me by two seconds i'm gonna cut this board and board it up I'm saying cut this board and board it up, don't it? Listen, <laughs> sometimes we make mistakes, we are all human, don't it? 
this piece of metal, I'm gonna cut it, nice it up, you know, and get it to use for the front of the switchboard. All right? Okay, how it look? Yeah, fast and quick, don't it? Yes, this is the four old far, the four switches. As you can see, I have all different size bit here to bore the holes, but this is this is my bit that I use because I have so many expansion on it to bore holes. Yeah, so this is the limit for the switch. Yeah, so the switch is gonna be from inside here. You understand? So I can turn it anyway, but this is blocking it, so I'm gonna bend all of them down before and then solder on the wire on them as it can turn long way you know what I mean so here is the volume the hole for the volume as you can see I have to punch I have to punch these holes before bore them you don't have to but to have them in one line you make a punch just you, you don't miss out so volume is gonna be here volume here volume here volume here all right over here I'm gonna have one two three four four more switch it, it could be these switches that don't have it any light but what I, I'm gonna do I'm gonna buy four more of these switch here to put up here but for now I'm gonna use these switches so yes my people I'm gonna sand this now get it nice looking good yeah after bore the rest of all I'm gonna sand it clean it up nice because I don't know if I'm gonna spray it but I have the punch what I'm gonna use to punch you in the name like I'm gonna punch you in base here mid I have the punch to punch in all those letters you know what I mean so yes my family stick and stay ever stick media at you see see how it look now my people how it look yeah just sand it down so all the holes are bored don't know if I'm gonna add anything else to it because most of the time we had some lights yeah but this is just a switchboard all right yeah this is gonna switch everything to the hump rack yeah switch on everything that go to the hump rack yeah so i have base amplifier mid amplifier on amplifier tweeter amplifier yeah over no yes 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 base mid on Peter. yeah then I'm going to have the crossover light fan or fan light yes I have one leaf so I don't know what I'm gonna use that one for but this is how it's going to look so don't know if I'm going to spray it in colors but I'm gonna give it an annex finer sanding now with a finer sandpaper to get it you know smooth and nice all right yes my people how it look tell me how it look my people look nice don't it yes I all right this is how it's going to look you know what I mean so I don't know if I'm gonna spray the front of it yet yeah or, or me, me going to leave it shine just like that but this is the switchboard so we just put on them knob here you know and then if I them knob here me I go use me just put them on don't know yet could be use some of them pretty one here But well, yes my people so this is how the switchboard is going to stay so this is for base amplifier when when we do that the light is going to be on but it don't string up as yet as soon as i string up it and current into it once i, I turn it on the light is going to on here this is going to control my base all right this is the mid when I say mid high mid and low mid that's it this is on and this is tweeter all right every one of them control all right now this is the crossover that's gonna be inside the rack I'm using a crossover to boot boost boots up the base the baseline yeah when it come from the drive rack yeah all right this is gonna be fun yeah the cooling cooling system yeah this is gonna be light I don't know I could be have two different type of light on it 
Yeah, so I use them here for light. You understand? Yep. So this is how the switchboard look. This is how it look on the inside. So it is me now to do my wiring. Yeah. You have to know something to do all these wiring. All right. Yeah, man. So if you notice, it is a 50k volume. 50k is the best to use for uh, audio input. Yeah, our output, yeah. Yeah, man. Preamps um, signal. So it is a stereo volume because stereo. I only play stereo, I don't play mono. Only play bass in mono. The reason why I carry the bass in mono, when I use the left and right from the bass into the amplifier, it gives me a stronger play. So that is the reason why I'm gonna play stereo in bass. Yeah. But yes, my people, this is the switches. Reason why I use these big switches, I need some powerful switch because you have to send a strong 12 volt remote, 12 volt to mm -hmm. the amplifier. Hello? You understand? Yeah. So, yeah, man. So this is this is the ground spin here. Is the ground spin as you can see? I bend all the ground spin, so it don't do nothing if it touch the frame of the panel here. So all these grounds gonna be in one, yeah. This is the light. If you put the 12 volt here, the light is gonna come on. You understand? So here is where the 12 volt positive is going to come. All and hit them one here. It's gonna be the 12 volt rail. So the wire is gonna leave from them here and I'll go to the remote to the amplifier. So once I turn on the switch, the light is going to come on because the current is going to go over here and it's going to send current to the amplifier. All right. Easy setup. Yeah, man. Easy breezy. This is just an uh, half an hand switch, half an hand switch. I'm going to glue them in. I'm going to glue them in to keep them firm, but the mirror is going to screw in. All right. So, yes, this is how this is how the switchboard is going to look. Yeah, so. As you can see, it have the length of a crossover or an equalizer. Yeah, so it is going to fit inside the rack. I have a board. I have a um. I have a circuit board to put inside here. Hold on, let me show you the the circuit board. All right, my people. This board is gonna be inside here. So what I'm going to do? I'm going to screw it somewhere here or somewhere here. I'm going to screw it underneath. Yeah, I'm going to screw it there. You understand? Don't want it too far. Yeah, because as you can see, this is left and this is right. And it's, as you can see, this is the mid, this is the on, and this is the tweeter. And as you can see over here, I have the same thing the mid, on, and tweeter. You understand? Yeah. The base is not in over here. I don't put the base in this. I just put the mid into it. All right, because I want the base to be played different from the mid. Yeah. So that is how the switchboard is going to set up. Because the reason why this board is going to be inside here because it have some volume inside here. If it never have the volume, I never have to put this inside. All right. So yes, my viewers and my subscribers. You don't know it's all about ever slick and if you check out the channel there's a lot more you can learn from the channel by watching our next video you understand yeah man ever slick media mm -hmm. don't forget to like share and to subscribe to the channel and don't forget to hit the notification bell because if you don't hit the notification bell you're not gonna see the next video coming out so what i'm saying yeah man stick and stay all right my people i'm coming from this piece of metal to this piece okay how oh, it look how oh, it look yes my people yeah man nice and beautiful this is my switchboard all right see it. all right my people it's all about time to connect up my switchboard all right one side of my switchboard is live here is live all right as you can see my power supply 12 volt power supply all right 
each switch once i turn on each switch you can tell when the switch is on see that yeah that's how it's gonna work so if i come and see this light on that means the mid-range is on the mid-range amplifier is on all right this is the base this tell that the base amplifier is on because this is sending the 12 volt to the remote all right this is the horn yeah and this is the tweeter amplifier all right so that's how it's gonna work so if i come and i see no light here none of my amplifier is on all right so this is the crossover so i'm gonna bore a little hole here and put a little light put a little light right through a little hole right here over the switch i'm gonna do it with also these other three so once i click it on the light is on yeah whoa nearly blew up myself all right my people but that's it yeah so on a switchboard make sure the first switch that the current go to is the base amplifier because the, the base amplifier is gonna take more all right then the second one is gonna be the mid yeah high mid and the low mid yeah so yes my people on is off i'm not gonna take a lot of pressure yeah and the tweeter also not gonna take a lot of pressure but if the 12 volt is weak that is the reason why i use a big wire this big black wire here yeah so i'm gonna label it put on the red label on it to show that it is the remote positive yeah so right about now if the remote wire is too small and it's not bringing enough amperage to the amplifier remote it's gonna make the amplifier squeal you're gonna hear some squealing sound that is the reason why most um sound owners when them are playing them sound them hear this squeaking from an amplifier and them wonder what is the problem them also uninstall the amplifier out of the rack bring it to the technician to work on but trust me it is most of the time it is the wire that go to the remote it is too small so the enough amperage is not going and make sure you switch is a very powerful switch these switches um 20 amp don't know if you can see it yeah turn upside down come something focus focus 20 amp 12 volt off and on all right so make sure the switch is a very strong switch yeah to send the amperage to the amplifier all right and make sure the negative and positive that is coming straight from the battery from the the, the power supply that's gonna charge back the battery yeah the charger make sure the wire that leaving from that connection going to the amplifier you have the right wire if it is zero gauge you use zero gauge you know what i mean yeah you don't use a smaller wire because the wire is what the wire is the the thing that's going to carry the amperage to the amplifier see so yeah man as you can see my switch is up and running so it's all about now for me to put in my my board now and get my board all my wires solder up to hold the, the volume inside here yeah and then i'm gonna put in all my jacks because I'm, I'm gonna just solder in the jack here that's gonna go to the the amplifiers and the jack what's going to come from the drive rack yeah so yes this circuit is just a separation just um for me to I can turn down the mid or turn down the on or the base or the tweeter if I want to. You understand? I don't want to go to the amplifier to do that. I want to just have a board right in front of me where I can just turn 
and control and do whatsoever I want to do instead of go into the drive rack or or go on the amplifier to turn on because I don't have nothing else that have the volume that's gonna control the tweeter separate, the mid separate, you know what I mean? But yeah, because from the Mackie board to my maximizer, from the maximizer, I have a limiter, but I don't know if I think I'm gonna use it. But I have an expander gate, what I'm going to use. Then go to the drive rack. So as you can see, I don't have nothing to control. So if I want to turn on the on a little more or I need a little more, what I'm going to do with these volume, I'm not going to turn them right out. I'm going to turn them halfway and then tune up the sound. After I tune the sound, if I need a little mid, I can turn more, a little more mid. And if I, I need a little more tweeter, I can turn it up a little more. You know what I mean? That's the reason why I have this here. And the switch is for me to control my amplifiers. I can turn off and only leave the tweeter amplifier playing. So that is only tweet I'm hearing. You know what I mean? And I can turn off and have the horn alone on. See? Yes. As well. The mid is on only. As well. The bass is on only. And I still can have them on. And I can turn off the bass, the mid and the horn. Leave the tweet alone playing. You understand? But once I set my gain. I don't want to trouble them after I set my gain. So if I don't want to hear the mid, I can just turn off the mid. If you understand, it's all about Eversleep Media. On this channel, you can learn a lot about electronics. Alright? So yes, my viewers, you don't know if you're new here, my name is Eversleep. And trust me, this is my switchboard for my sound rack. Alright? So stick and stay family. And right now, I'm going to be out. So thank you all for watching. See you in the next video. All right? What's the name of the sound? What's the name of the sound? Welcome to Everslick Media. Welcome to Everslick Media.